Hi everybody, it's a great time for a book. I'm reading City Dog, Country Frog, and it's by Mo Willems and pictures by John J. Muth, one of my favorite illustrators. Spring. City Dog didn't stop on the first day in the country. He ran as far and as fast as he could and all without a leash. City Dog spotted something he had never seen sitting on a rock. It was a country frog. What are you doing, asked City Dog? Waiting for a friend, replied Country Frog with a smile. But you'll do. City Dog and Country Frog played together. City Dog was new to the country, so Country Frog taught him Country Frog games. Country Frog's games involve jumping and splashing and croaking. That was spring. Summer. City Dog didn't stop to admire the green, green grass. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. I'm going to do you a favor, said City Dog when he found Country Frog. I'm going to teach you City Dog games. City Dog's games involve sniffing and fetching and barking. City Dog and Country Frog played until Country Frog was too tired to sniff and fetch and bark anymore. And that was summer. Fall. City Dog didn't stop to sniff the falling leaves. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. What shall we play today, asked City Dog. Dog or frog games? Country Frog took a deep breath. I am a tired frog, replied Country Frog. Maybe we can play remembering games. City Dog and Country Frog sat together on the rock. They remembered their spring jumping and splashing and croaking. They remembered their summer sniffing and fetching and barking. That was fall. Winter. City Dog didn't stop to eat the snow. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. City 
dog looked for Country Frog. Country Frog was not there. And that was winter. Spring again. Country Chipmunk spotted something she had never seen sitting on a rock. It was City Dog. What are you doing? asked Country Chipmunk. Waiting for a friend, replied City Dog sadly. And then he smiled a froggy smile and said, But you'll do. The end.